guys, welcome to Sunday. Outfit of the daytime. I know I've done this outfit before, I've worn it before, it's just an outfit that I love. But this is it. It's my lacy black shirt and my maroon or dark red, I don't know what you'd call this, skirt. I made this when I was 14 for school. I literally can gather it so much, it's ridiculous. Here, look. <laughs> it's huge because it's meant to go over a hoop skirt. But I really enjoyed wearing it not on a hoop skirt. I'm about to fall over. And then I just have like black tights on and my platform heels and that's about it. And then my hair is pretty simple today as well. But I'm really proud of my makeup. I think it looks awesome. I've been enjoying like using some makeup. Like I have this like gold highlighter that's from, oh, I don't remember what the brand is. But it's like, I think maybe an Australian brand of makeup or whatever, and there's this gold highlighter that is called Glocomotion. I think it's called Glocomotion, or something silly like that. And it's beautiful. I've pretty much been putting it all over my whole face almost every single day, or almost every single time I wear makeup, and it's wonderful. And so I've been using it as an eyeshadow a lot, and it's like, perfect. And like, super in your face, so. In your face. There we go. Uh, many hours later. I am currently, well I just edited yesterday's vlog finally, uh, I just haven't really felt like doing it all that much today. I was kind of on my feet out in the apartment doing stuff most of the time after getting home from church, uh, like cleaning up uh, the kitchen, <laughs> the kitchen constantly needs upkeep and cleaning, I mean everybody who has their own place knows that, uh, and I just kind of forget sometimes that I need to upkeep it every day, but I'm also, I was also cleaning some other, some other stuff and uh, we're still in the process of getting this place in order. We still have intentions of doing our bookshelf tour very soon, but we're still missing, missing a box that uh, Giselle's mom sent to us of some of the books that Giselle has back in California, and there's many, many boxes back there still, so we got, she sent us one of them, and uh, it hasn't gotten here yet. We're, we're, we were waiting for that, so we're going to keep waiting for that, and keep, I mean, the bookshelves still aren't in order the way we wanted them to be, we still haven't taken down the Christmas tree. It's been way too long. It's still up, and we want to take it down. Just haven't had the inclination. Giselle's been working hard on finishing up the bedroom. So the other day, you saw she had like all that stuff outside in the kitchen, and then she's been kind of taking it all in. Uh, and then I showed one, a few days later, after that, that she had taken most of that stuff in. And now we're like organizing our clothes better. Uh, we have these suitcases that we, we usually keep under our bed and uh, we were taking them out because we went to Thanksgiving and then Christmas and they've kind of been sitting out and we were like packing them with clothes we don't wear that often and putting them under our bed so she's been packing up those things we're kind of uh, organizing stuff that we want, to put up, we want to put under our bed and some of the stuff that was in the bedroom necessar can't necessarily go back in there might go somewhere else in the apartment so she's been figuring that out and after that our next project I think will be the living room and then uh, maybe simultaneous with the living room Hopefully sometime this week we'll take down the Christmas tree and then we can set up the bookshelves we want to put right there where the Christmas tree is. And uh, we'll begin to be able to start doing our bookshelf tour. I mean, at the very least, we can hopefully uh, get a few of the different bookcases done in that soon. So anyway, so I, I, uh, I've, I haven't edited the vlog yet. I hadn't edited the vlog yet from yesterday. And so I just did it. I just finished it. And I can't believe how ridiculously messed up my hair was in that video. I don't know if you noticed. I think I'm going to put something in the description and be like, please pardon how ridiculously bad my bedhead is. I had just woken up. So, I had just woken up, and I had not realized, like, my hair was literally looking like a rooster in the back, and I had this, like, rhinoceros spike in from my hair in the front. Uh, anyway, so, I edited that vlog, and I think I'll just post it in the morning, because it's already late. It it's, feels too late to post it. Uh, so I think I'll just post it first thing in the morning. I should just be able to post it right when I wake up, and then I'll edit today's vlog in the morning, hopefully, and maybe just post that in the nighttime, and that shouldn't be too big of a deal. But I, I, after that, and simultaneously with that, with editing it, I've been uh, transferring a lot of these uh, audiobooks that Giselle got to my computer so that I can put them on her phone. And actually, this one, Benjamin Ashwood, I'll put on my phone, too, because this is one that I think we'll listen to together. And because uh, it's epic fantasy, I, I believe, uh, and she's that's how she described it yesterday when she was talking about them. So, yeah, I'm gonna continue to put those on here. I 
I didn't think about this beforehand, but I've been having problems for a while, a long time, pretty long time, with my uh, CD reader. It's a Blu-ray DVD uh, reader and burner that's in my laptop, and I've been having a, a lot of problems with it. I just have not been able to use it for like a year now. I like every time I put something in there, it just doesn't read it for some reason. And I didn't think about that, because I haven't tried to use it in a while. I didn't think about that. And when I put one of these in, the first one that I tried to transfer over, I put it in, and it, it didn't work. It wouldn't read it. And, like, the computer recognizes that I have a, a CD drive in the computer. It does not recognize anything that I put into the drive, though. So, uh, that's unfortunate. That was very unfortunate, because I was like, holy crap, I can't transfer any of these CDs over. How is Giselle actually going to be able to listen, be able to, listen to these? And uh, I was starting to get a little bit frustrated. I was like, because I was trying to figure out maybe I need to update something. Maybe it's, it's just the drivers aren't working correctly. And uh, but that wasn't it. I opened it and I took the CD out that I was working on. I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to figure something else out for this. And I noticed that when my thing was open, it had a lot of lint on it. And uh, the I like I wiped it off. I I would, like wiped the lint off with my hand, uh, just because it's kind of builds up in there a bit, and I was just like wiping it off, and I like wiped off this piece of something, it was a piece of something, and I was like, holy crap, I broke my, I broke it, how did I break it, because I like, I must have swiped my hand over the optical, uh, the optical sensor in there, I wipe my hand over it, and this little piece falls off, and I like, go scrambling, trying to find the piece, and be like, holy crap, did I break this thing, and by just wiping it, and no, that's not quite what it was, sitting in this little nook, in, that's basically the optical sensor of the drive that reads the CD was this little tiny screw that you probably can't even see. Maybe if I put it in front of my gargantuan nose, you'll be able to see it. There we go. Okay, so there, that tiny little screw was sitting in there for who knows how long. I mean, there's this computer is missing all kinds of screws on the bottom of it, so it doesn't surprise me that there's a screw kind of just hanging out in there. Apparently it's been in there for who knows how long, and it was sitting right on top of the uh, the sensor. And as soon as I got rid of that and put the CD back on, there uh, it started working again. It worked, and I started to be able to transfer these to my computer. So I mean, I'm just I'm just really glad I was able to figure that out. Uh, I never would have thought of that. Honestly, I'm really glad I swiped it off. I mean, there's a there was a screw in my CD drive, which was not something that should ever be there. So anyway. So it's pretty late now, it's like 12.40. So yeah, really late, uh, much later than I've been going to bed recently. I was talking on the phone, especially since I've been up since 5 a.m. I, I didn't talk about this yet either, but I woke up at 5 a.m. this morning because I went to sleep so early last night because I was having major neck pains. So I think Chris already talked about that, but like it was really bad last night and when I woke up this morning, I still had it, but I woke up at 5 a.m. and I just couldn't fall back asleep. So I worked on my lesson some more and then I replied to comments till like maybe 7 a.m. and then I took a nap on the couch for like an hour and then I came back to bed for like another two hours and slept off and on so I should be more tired than I am but for some reason I'm not but my neck is feeling better now it's still feeling a little bit sore but what you gonna do? And I just spent the last like three hours talking to my friend Joseph. We've actually known each other for three years now, which is awesome. He was looking on Facebook and he's like, we met three years ago yesterday. And I was like, oh, what a coincidence. Happy three years knowing you, pal. So we've been friends for several years and we just haven't caught up for a while. We talked on Christmas day for a bit, like we texted and stuff, but we haven't talked on the phone for a while. So we were catching up on all sorts of shenanigans and we were just reminiscing about ridiculous stories and stuff. Like I was telling him stories and he's like, oh yeah, I forgot that. And then he would tell me stories that I had completely forgotten about and stuff like that as well. And it was just good times and we had a lot of fun with that. We we're just catching up on life stuff in general. And he's been moving from state to state recently just for work and so I like didn't even know but he's like in Louisiana now and it's just like, okay, that's so random but good for you. So it was just really wonderful getting to catch up with him and that's what I've been doing. So I probably should go remove my makeup to go to bed but uh, maybe I'll just like use a makeup wipe because I don't feel like it. I've been so bad about taking my makeup off at night, you guys. It's pretty horrible, but it's late now. Christopher just got in bed and I'm ready to go to sleep now too. So thank you so much for watching today and we'll see you tomorrow.